applying to different employers in Canada and they're not even responding and you're not getting the job. And that's why I'm making this video to show you the secret to getting a job in Canada. If you're applying from Nigeria or even any country outside Canada and you're welcome to my channel today. If you're very new, please kindly subscribe and click on that notification, you know, the bell so that you can know when I upload new videos. My name is Manaria. I love to give information about immigration. And at the same time, um, I upload my videos, at least two videos every week. Sometimes I even upload more than that. The benefit of you being in my channel is that you know verified information about what's going on in immigration to Canada and uh, how you can move to Canada, settle in Canada, life in Canada, and uh, easier ways, sometimes how to make application of uh, different programs in Canada. These are what you will benefit. And at the same time, if you can, share my video with your family members, people in the same WhatsApp group with you. Maybe they might be interested in what I'm doing and you're helping someone by giving them information. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'll be talking about the secrets to getting a job from Nigeria or anywhere in Canada, how you can apply and then get, get that job that you've been wanting to. And in this, I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to show you two to three websites where you can apply. And then I will tell you the secret to getting the job. Come on with me, let's do this. All right. Thank you. So the first website that we're going to be using is a Canada Job Bank. So it's I'm, I'm also going to link all of these things so that all of this, whatever I'm saying, so that you can go and then do it for my do it uh, for yourself or see for yourself. I usually like people doing things on their own. I'm willing to guide you, but just do it on your own so that you, you'll be responsible for whatever it is that you know, you're doing, instead of someone doing stuff and making mistakes with the application and you bearing the consequences. So yeah, so the first is a jobbank.gc.ca. Okay, I'll still put this link. So let me say, for instance, the job that you're looking for is a home spot worker. Just, this is just a, a demo, right? Home spot worker, and then you click on the location. So the secret here is, why people most times they don't get response is because you are applying in the cities. I want to tell you something. When I moved to Canada, I lived in the village, in one of the villages, and I can tell you that the shortage of labor that we experienced in the villages were not, was nothing to write home about. They want you. Those villages in Canada want you. And I can tell you, it's not bad. Like the villages, what they call villages are not as bad as, yeah, some of them might be cold or something, but where is not even cold in Canada, apart from Toronto. And I mean, Canada is or already, or maybe you're going to Vancouver and you know what I mean? Like you're coming to an Arctic country and you should expect that you have to cover yourself, cover yourself. You're not standing, you're not standing in the cold or you're not staying for long in the cold, right? You're moving from your vehicle or from the uh, transit bus to your workplace, from there back to your house, you have heaters everywhere, so you're good to go. So because what I'm saying is that if you're constantly applying for organizations in Calgary, Toronto, all those big cities, it might be, the chances might be slim. You, I'm not saying you won't get, of course, you might get, right? But what I'm saying is that the secret is apply to those provinces in Canada, okay? Look at look out for provinces in Canada. Look at it here. So these are the provinces in Canada, right? They have Alberta, uh, British Columbia, Manitoba, New, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, Newfoundland and Rebrado, Newfoundland. They call it Newfoundland, as you may, as you may. Northwest Territories, Nova Scotia, Nunavut, Ontario, Prince Edward Island, Quebec. Saskatchewan, you, you come. So now you click on this one. If you click on, for instance, these are Abada, now you're seeing all the, you look out for the villages that are inside Abada. You can even type the villages that are inside Abada, like the cities that are inside Abada. For instance, in High Prairie, in Abada, you can get jobs there. In Grand Prairie, 
you can get job. This they will be the one calling you. They are out there waiting for you because a lot of people who are already in Canada, they don't sometimes, I don't know, for some reasons they don't, they want to everybody want to live in the in the city. But I tell you one thing, you will always start start from somewhere. No one is saying that when you get in the city, the village or you know, like inner inner provinces, okay you're gonna remain there for the rest of your life. You give some time there and it's just a starting point. Everyone will always have a starting point, but when you wanna keep your, high, your eyes, I'm not saying it's not good to aim high. Of course, it's good. Everyone will live in Toronto, everyone will live in Alberta, British Columbia, Victoria, and as case may be. But then how possible, how fast is it? Why don't you just start from the village and then, you know, you can proceed with your life. I lived in the village for a period of six months or more before I moved to the city, but I didn't regret that. Even what they call the village is not even like, yeah, you still get a miserably okay. And they pay higher there even compared to what they pay you in some cities, you know? So you go to all those, um, you know, the cities they have in that Alberta, right? Uh, the high prairie, uh, what do you call it? The high prairie, the grand prairie, the slave lake, the uh not uh fort madmory fort Madmore, or what do they call it? uh fort saskatchewan like different just google different province cities in alberta you go there you apply okay you can even check bc, uh, BC B british columbia you check also all of these provinces also have their um nominate provincial uh, nomination pathway. So this is an entirely different video. I also link the video where I, I, I talked about uh, express entry and provincial nomination. So what am I trying to say? Let's say, for instance, you want to start with uh, either of these cities that I, I they say location. Okay. So where they say location, you can just say, um, okay, Canada, right? And you can just go to advance. Okay. Okay. So you can just go to advance. Then you say, for instance, if you're using home support worker, home support worker, right? You don't have employer's name except for those cities that already have uh, employers, right? You know. So when they say employment condition, right? Just click on basically. Um, you can click on the ones if they say probably the ones they posted 48 hours. Some of those cities they might post employment 30 days, they've not even seen anyone. It doesn't matter. Post, you can also put 30 days, right? You check, you can even put more than 30 days. If the if the war, if the application has been filled, they will write it there. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's say you're going for okay, let's go for the one of 30 days. Okay. Awesome. Now. You're going for this, and then you say you're going to let me say Nova Scotia. All of most of these people, they are always having jobs. Okay, even this one, New Brunswick. Okay, you see, these are the companies that are hiring and where they are located. Okay, and then you click on employment condition day evening and then another secret is that if employers ask you always accept that put it in your resume of course you must have had a very good resume canadian resume make sure your resume is not even more than two pages if you can even make it one page good these people they don't spend a lot of time the recruiters they don't spend a lot of time looking out um, resumes i once had an opportunity to cover as a you know a hire you know, in an organization where I was working. The truth is that there are so many applications that are coming in a whole day that you don't even hire 30 seconds to one minute. You have scanned and you see what you're looking out for. You're going for that. If that's what you want, they want to see that you are, you make your resume eligible, make your, your resume short, brief to the point. Okay. And then in your um, cover letter, make the cover letter simple, straight to the point. And also always remember to address that you are available to work holiday, weekend and night. Just present it. They need to know that you're reliable. They need to know that you can do call, you can do shifts, you can do all of these things. They need to know that you're flexible, okay? 
So these are the secrets. And then language, English, if you speak French, you choose all of these things. Okay? So you can you always, always, always put full time because you're applying from outside Canada and it must be full time permanent, please. Nothing less than that, okay? Salary level, you can just put, make your um, inquiry, it should be around here. So you make your research, okay? Regarding the, how much they pay, okay? So employment growth. Now you look at it. Whom do you want? Uh, if it's a visible minority, the youth, veteran, all of those ones, okay? Now, you, you kind of select all these ones, okay? Good. Then, as you're doing it, you can see it's coming down. Then also this, um, I don't want to use Ontario for so many reasons, okay? So I just want to use these other ones, okay? BC2, BC2, and then when you're done, this is like an advanced research. Training on education, secondary school. So if you're looking for support worker, always use secondary school. It's okay to use secondary school when you're searching, right? You can also use uni, but secondary school is okay. But most of those work, the uh, support jobs, they require maybe secondary school or just postgraduate, but it doesn't matter if you even had more than that. Years of experience, then you click on your years of experience, okay? Voila, then, so you've done your filters, right? So we're trying to see if there are other things that we need to select. So Canadian unauthorized workers, Canadian and international candidates, awesome. We are good. So always remember to select that, okay? So I'm trying to open uh, to highlight that one as well. So yeah, you click on your view results after you've selected all of these things. You see all some of these videos, when you're done, just go back. Like if, if you wanna use a video of how to apply and all of those things, you do the video, you play it, you can just be playing on your cell phone and then you open on your lap, laptop or computer as you're playing, you're doing it, slow it. You can even slow videos and do it gradually. Follow it as the person that is teaching it is doing. That's what I would do if I were to do it. So you can see these are all employers. You see, these employers, can you can apply to them. So these are the, the search that came out, right? You click on this one. For instance, you want to go for that one, okay? Remember, you can do it for different cities, but just make sure you're checking for inside the villages. Okay, you can see this is about 20 hours per week for that. This is a full time job, full time employment. See, day and morning, you see, you see, start as soon as possible. So, oh my God, if you get this job and it's, verif it's verified, oh my goodness. If you get this job, all you need is just to give your employer, you know, the video where I did how you can apply for home support worker and be in Canada as soon as possible. You see, these are the requirements. These are the requirements. Show how to apply. You see? You click on it. By email. Look at it. Just email this person and you're good to go. All right? So this is how you do it. This is a verified website. And this, this uh, person is verified. So if this person gives you a job, you're good to go. And imagine this is awesome. 20, 20 hours, uh, $20 per hour. It's not bad. It's really not bad. It's going to give you later. Once they offer you the job, you're good to go. Start as soon as possible. You see? So this is it for this website. So this is another website. That's how you can do for the other. So another website is Indeed. Yeah, I know a lot of people might be saying, oh, I've been applying for Indeed and they're not responding, blah, blah, blah. Please apply in the villages. Don't, like what I explained. Okay? Apply in the villages. City, Saskatoon. For instance, you can use, uh, okay, let me say, you can use a uh, Nova Scotia. Or you can even use Nunavut. 
I'm giving you an instance, right? Okay. I probably didn't search this thing well. Ooh. So you can use our bad. Uh, you can use our bad. So we want to find jobs in our bad. Okay. So this. I don't know, for some reason, this is showing, um, this is showing my own. So what you wanna do is, hold on, I don't know why this is not, is is expecting me to log in, I don't wanna log in, okay? So, but yeah, you can just uh, create an account with Indeed, but of course you understood what I said. You put in what you're looking for, okay? You put in what you're looking for, and then you put those villages. You must have sought for those villages, as I said here, as I explained. Okay, they want you to post your your, your resume. Okay, even indeed can can help you to make a resume. It could that will you know match with what is re required of you, like you know Canadian style of resume. You know, so so is acting employed. So they're expecting me to post a job. So I signed it as an employer. So yeah. But you can sign in as an employee, as, as an employee, like try to, you know, sign up and then search, just search the way I did. Okay. So let's go to this one, glass door. Okay. Then you try to search. Basically, I'll suggest to use that other one. So this is expecting me to log in too. So you have to log in. Okay. For some reasons, I don't want to log in my email here. I don't have a dummy email yet. I guess I might have to create a dummy email that I would use, to, you know, to be doing this. But let me just explain that, okay? So you try to log in. When you log, if you're not logged in, you can sign up, okay? So when you sign up, you, uh, you create an account, okay? Okay, let's try this and see, okay? So let's see home support. And when you are applying for jobs, honestly, you need to be patient. It's not when you do one, you say, oh, they're not calling me. I'm not going to do it. No, you have to keep doing it. Even those in Canada, it's not always that easy that once we apply, we get right away. Most times you keep applying and applying and applying before keep going for interview and you know doing your best, prepare for interview and do what you can. Do you understand? So it's very important to, let me use Saskatoon for instance, and then you click on this one and um, it's gonna open, it's gonna open. You see, so there are lots and lots, look at this one, Hope's Home, okay? So you, you even if you don't wanna, use, Saskatoon is a city, okay? So you don't even wanna use Saskatoon, you can use High Prairie. High Prairie is a smaller, a smaller city. These are where you get jobs that are looking for you in this area. People are not coming there, okay? Employers are willing to help to hire, you see? Home support worker, you see? This is for, look at it. Worker union support, you see? You see, case works provider in high priority. You click on, on all other jobs. And you can also put your email so that you put your email and then you put your, like the kind of job you're looking for, where you want that job to, you know, once they have a notification that an employer is looking for someone and it's what you indicated that you're interested in. You get an email, Oof. you get an email, right? So these are, you see, all of these ones, you can also use a, like you go to all those uh, provinces and you click on smaller provinces, okay? You can use Grand Prairie, Grand Prairie. So this is what you, you see, looking for job, honestly, it's a full-time job. To find a job in Canada, I'm not lying. It's a full-time job. So you need to do better. Even if it's, if you're so busy, if you want to be given like two hours or three hours or even an hour every day just to search for a job, it's not bad. 
Oh, this is Texas. This is, I'm looking for Grand Prairie, Canada. Oh, bad. So the Grand Prairie is in Alberta, so you can see, right? So you keep looking, you keep looking, okay? It's not something that you do once and you just say you're tired and oh no, don't, don't give up. You're looking, for, you're looking out for your future. At the end of the day, you'll be so happy that you never, that you didn't give up. So now this is another one, Kijiji, okay? So for Kijiji, I'm still gonna put all these links, okay? So for the Kijiji, you're looking for, let me say, horns, spurs, worker, and the category is on the jobs, and you select your location. So you can use high prairie. These are small cities in Alberta. Alberta is a very beautiful place to live though. The tax is not that, it's a nice place. So yeah, you can see, you try to search, right? So you look out for home spot worker, you will see, okay? You scroll down and you search. If you didn't see there, if you didn't see there, you try Edmonton, okay? Try Edmonton. You're gonna look by the side on the, on the left side, you will see other um, places, location, different location. You just keep changing your location. I mean, you're not even specific to where you're going, anywhere they give you a job. You just be going there, all right? Seeking caregiver, look at it. This one is seeking for caregiver. So you can apply, you see? And it's located in Sprouse Grove, Alberta. You work hours day, Monday to Friday, seven to three, and weekends. You see, you click on it, so many of them. Once you click on all those villages, there are so many, I tell you, like, I'm very sure there are so, so many people, right? 18 per hour, okay? Qualification must have a recent vulnerable check and all of healthcare health, previous caregiving or previous caregiving work experience. Some people that have children, they've taken care of their children in the past. It's an experience they use in Canada. They've taken care of their grandmother and all of that. All those are experiences. They have what they call transferable, transferable experiences. You can use all of those things, okay? So yeah, that is basically it. And then there are, there are many other websites. You can also use wowjob.com, okay? You can use wowjob.com, but these are just few ones that I know that people easily get jobs from them, okay? So I wish you all the best. And uh, remember when you get this job, it's not like this, the employer is going to be doing a lot of what you just need to give you once they give you the job offer you give you give them the the form that form that i showed in that other video they will sign the form you use it and apply and that's it it's not that difficult and then some other employers too always click on employers that are willing to you know hire you from outside and constantly check the job canada job job site Okay, this one that I showed you, this one is one I'm, I'm like, it's more reliable. I would always go for this one first and this other ones comes later. So yeah, this one first, the other ones come later. So yeah, please, I wish you all the best and I hope you, your journey to Canada 